Mozart, Beethoven, Elvis, Hendrix, Van Halen. Sometimes people try and deny it, but there's always a little bit of Van Halen rumbling around inside of us. I'd like to introduce the king of ten fingers and six strings, Mr. Edward Van Halen! I think that uh, Eddie Van Halen is the greatest rock guitarist of our time. Archetypic, lickety-split, gunslinger guitar player. He's so special and soulful when he plays. Not just in terms of speed, but how he articulates the notes, his accuracy, his focus. There's a whole lot of emotional content to the way that kid plays. Then I heard this astonishing sound, the guitars, it just sounded like three or four guitar players all playing at the same time. What is that? And I saw this guy like tapping away on his guitar, which I'd never seen before. I saw a more powerful than a speed bullet, you know, able to leap tall buildings. I saw it. Not since Jimi Hendrix has anybody had that effect. Earth has changed. He could outplay anybody. never uh, approached the instrument like the average person would do. I would like to go down and sit in the front row and see what you got to do now. Oh, hey, I just and you've say changed that. things a lot. I heard all about this Eddie Van Halen guy and they're out there doing a sound check and I'm listening to this screaming high end. He started whipping out those mystical licks where he's done the double tap, the double hand thing. And I'm listening, I'm going, God damn, what, what kind of instrument and amp is that son of a bitch using? I like it to sound like it's basically dying and then back it off a tad. I didn't discover Superman, he was always there. Just I just happened to be there when they exploded on the scene. Eddie Van Halen inspired me to practice 20,000 hours to try to get within a hundred miles of his inspired mastery of the electric guitar. Eddie Van Halen, he was um, an innovator, uh, a, a genuine, unique soul. Every once in a while you meet a real human being that touches your heart above and beyond the talent. One of the greatest guitar players that ever lived. When Eddie Van Halen came on the scene, I had never heard guitar playing like that. You knew something superior was happening. Musicians have their names forever etched into our collective memories. This is exclusive territory reserved only for the exceptions who broke every rule. Yeah! 
There's no replicating a Van Halen guitar solo. Guitar World magazine ranked Eddie the number one greatest guitarist of all time. When Eddie started playing and you watch him, you couldn't take your eyes off him. That guitar is like it's part of his body and his hands are moving. And I'm sitting there going, Jesus Christ, this is, this is it. When you hear something that you really don't know what it is and it ends up changing music, this is what I like to call the Van Halen effect explosive technique with flash and panache. I listened to him play, I watched him play, and I said, you know what he does with his hands, I want to do with my feet. I thought that Edward was really the game changer. You couldn't Say you didn't like it, because you would be lying. He had a massive impact on guitar playing, and I don't think there's anybody that's picked up the guitar since 1978 that hasn't been touched in some way by Eddie Van Halen's influence. Not since Jimi Hendrix had there been a guitar player that had so much impact and was so inspiring to me. It seemed like half the bands in America had a guitarist who thought they were Eddie Van Halen, but there was only one Eddie. teenager of my era couldn't look at an electric guitar and not wish that they could play like Eddie Van Halen. The only thing that I know how to do, I feel I can express myself with, because I'm Believe me, I'm, I'm not very good with words. No one else had ever created that combination of operatic influence with a pyrotechnic attack that redefined the sound of the electric guitar. The greatest guitar hero of his generation was willing to bet the farm on an entirely different instrument. Experimentation kept Van Halen relevant for more than two decades with two different lead singers. And will we ever see another one like him? I don't think so. I mean, the guy was so innovative. February 10th, 1978, Van Halen 1 was released, set it up on stage and played the opening track of Van Halen 1, which was Running With The Devil. As soon as it finishes, he goes, check this out. And then I heard this.
Love you, Eddie. Happy trails to you. 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 Happy tr